This looks different. It looks a little shinier. Oh, okay. it's, it's, it, this is a preview of DSM-4, which we're okay. launching to yeah. DSM-4 beta. I'm actually gonna this look is a, a look, so we did refresh the GUI, so there is the, the little widget, the widget bar right here, so you can get a quick glance of what's happening on your disk station, so you can quickly, if you don't want the system health up here, you want, you want to see the resource monitor, you can just move that up. It still tells you the CPU usage, RAM usage, and how much network bandwidth is being used. Let's say if you have a lot of windows open, managing multiple things at once, you can quickly do this. And then you can see a quick preview of all six nice. windows that are running. Uh, so let's go, go back to over here. Uh, let's see. Rate management. Rate management. So here, this is how you can manage your rate, your rate runs. This is a two-bay disk station. So we have a two, uh, two uh, 64 gig disk SSDs in here. So this is how you control and manage your rate. Uh, I do want to show uh, a little change that what we did in the control panel. Normally right here with DSM 3.2, we had integrated multimedia applications, multimedia streaming, audio stations, right. photo stations. Yeah. We now change that where those are now packages. So right here. So basically what this is is that if you're if you're deploying this station at your work and your ITO, your IT manager, your CTO says that you cannot have audio streaming on the network at all, simply just uninstall it. And you just go to our package center right here. And these are all the applications that we've installed on this particular this station, but we can actually go through and uninstall iTunes server. So I can just go right here, click on more, I can click uninstall, and then follow through the wizard, and there's going to be no more iTunes on the disk station. So you can Excellent. truly customize the disk station for home use or for your work use. So you can set up an administrator and, and client access to this? Uh, yes, so uh, with, when you're using uh, iTunes, well, not the iTunes, I mean the package, access to the package. Access to the packages are handled through a user account control. So basically, you assign each user can they have access to this or no. That's what you can set up. All right, so uh, let's show off the, one of the great new things about what I said earlier about DSM 4, which is Cloud Station. Uh, Cloud Station is a package that you install. You can, uh, it'll be available when DSM 4 beta is, bit, uh, is launched. So, Cloud Station basically allows you to have the ability of seeking data between multiple computers through the cloud without port forwarding. And where is the data stored is personally on your personal disk station, in this case, right here. Uh, is this, uh, I mean, is this, is this Synology to Synology type? This station to this station, so something in another? I know you've had that feature before. No, that's, uh, that's what we use for network backup. This is intended for where you have your personal, your your workstation, and say your netbook, they are both communicating to the same disk station, and you have this access to the same files. Computer to computer yep. through the disk station. Disk station. I'm, so I'm with you. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to minimize this right here. So let's say this is my workstation. I'm in Seattle. This is my workstation. So I have. Oh, let me show you right here. So we have the cloud station uh, program, and it creates a cloud station folder. So then I'm on my workstation in Seattle, and these are all my files that I have in my Cloud Station folder. And let's say I want to modify this file, so I can say something like this, the Cloud Rules. I can say something like this, and I'm going to save it. What's going to happen is that it's going to start syncing that data to my disk station. And then let's say I'm, I travel to Las Vegas with my little netbook right here, my little mini computer. I can pull up the exact same file and see that I've already updated the text right there. It's right there. So wow. it's a file synchronization. You can see like a Dropbox or iCloud. I wasn't going to say it. You said it first. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's equivalent to that. And basically, there's no monthly charges for this service. So basically, you get the disk station. Unlimited. Unlimited capacity. Yeah. Whatever your whatever, PC control. Yeah. Whatever your capacity is on the disk station, that is how much capacity you get. Let me ask you a question. What if I want to give someone access to see? Let's say uh, Jim and I want to uh, share a folder between each other. Can I you just do that give, to different users? Just give them. So each, each of the, the cloud uh, station folders are assigned by per user. So you, you would have your own personal cloud. Jim would have his own personal cloud. Now, if you want to share something, both have to share credentials. Okay. Yeah. All right, Jim, we're going to load this beta as soon as we get our Groovy Claws on it. Have our own Dropbox. Uh, okay, uh, back to the DSM. I just want to kind of look through. Uh, it looks, it's got a complete makeover. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice 
nice refresh, it's a nice update. We did introduce a couple of new packages for DSM-4 beta, such nice. as uh, antivirus essential. Uh, we have users asking for a way to, to scan for viruses on their disk stations, so we're introducing that in DSM-4 beta. And uh, basically it automatically scans your viruses, scans for viruses, scans for viruses. their profiles are stored on the disk stations. Is, uh... What's the engine behind that? Can you share that? Uh, the engine behind is Clam AB, and the updates are handled through Clam AB. We just, okay. all we did was just handle the integration, so you don't see any of the command line stuff or anything like that, or the updates. It automatically updates. Awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a very popular topic. Uh, let's see. And, uh, for some, some of our business users, we are introducing LUN backups. So let me uh, load the LUN backup engine right here. Storage. Uh, so. I can see right here, I have, my, I have my iSCSI target working, it's connected, and I'm gonna go ahead and start a backup of my LUN target. All right, so I don't have a backup, so. With LUN backup, the biggest advantage with LUN backup, first it's integrated within the disk station. The second advantage is it saves the, your administrators money because you don't need to worry about buying licenses to backup your LUN anymore, whether it be Hyper-V licenses or client licenses or V, uh, v VMware licenses to run your backups. So I'm going to run a local backup right here. Uh, set my destination. That's a perfectly fine directory. I usually like to stick with defaults because I'm just showing it. So I'm going to back up my first one right here. No problem. And I want to back up immediately. And I finish the wizard. Hit apply. So right now, what's going to happen is that it's going to analyze the line that I currently have and I can back up the LUN while it's online. So you don't have to worry about the LUN, backing up the LUN and disconnecting your iSCSI target as you're using it. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty handy for our VMware fans and our, our virtual guys, absolutely. Um, what was the question I was thinking of? Uh, any refresh to the PC software? Uh, so the PC software, so CloudStation was introduced. We do are really seeing an update to uh, the assistant. It's gonna get us new GUI interface, so it's a little bit easier to manage and it's easier to set up, easier to organize uh, when you're doing mass install and mass management of your disk station. Uh, let's see. Share folder sync. Share folder sync. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, I was talking <laughs> to him. I apologize. We you still have, you still have Time Machine, you still have PC yeah. backups. Yes, yeah, so you still have uh, Data Replicator data replic data 3 to handle your file level backups for your Apple clients. We still support Time Machine, so you can connect your uh, Leopard or Lion computer to the this station and still back up that way. And also, since the DSM 3.2, we actually have the ability for Time Machine to back up to the user's home folder. Okay. So it's a private stored backup. Okay. That's very nice. And the only thing I'm missing is bare metal restore on the PC. Do you, hear, do you hear that a lot? I do hear that a lot. It's something that we're looking at developing for the next version of Data Replicator. Okay, we'll be on board as soon as that comes out. Yeah. We'll, we'll help you test it. How's that? That works out very good. All right, Tim, that's been... Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, it's starting to back up right there. there Five. There goes that line backing up. Yeah, the, the VMware guys are going to love... Uh, uh, a synology. There's just high targets are built right in, so it's a great box for that. Any questions, Jim?